Thank you, Jack. Thank you for having me. And uh, just a short little note, when I first got to Northeastern uh, as the DB's coach, uh, Sarah Gigantino, who was our SID at the time, said, you're a very lucky man. The first person you get to go talk to is Jack Renold. And uh, from that moment on, uh, I've been very appreciative of all the kind of things you've done for me all the way through my career so far, and uh, looking for some more in the future. So congratulations, and, and uh, really happy I get to be part of, uh, of what you're doing. So uh, last week we were at Fitchburg State, um, went up to, to a night game there, uh, an EFC team. Obviously, we're an ECSC team, so not really familiar with them. First time the two teams have ever met. Um, and we started off the game a little slow, giving up a scoring drive to begin the game, playing a lot of young kids. We have 60 freshmen on our 87-man roster. Uh, so you know, a, lot, a lot of kids getting their feet wet for the first time. Um, luckily, we, we had a big spark. We returned two kickoff returns for a touchdown, um, one from freshman Kyle Gregg, who won the ECFC Special Teams Player of the Week, as well as the ECFC Rookie of the Week, and uh, Ty Tyler Ayafelis. Uh, so both those, those two plays kept us in the game in the first half, uh, as well as our d defense stiffening up. Uh, what killed us later in the game was giving up a block punt uh, and, and an interception in which the, uh, the Falcons brought, brought the returns all the way down within, within our five-yard line. So it's tough to win when you, uh, when you give them great field position and, and, and struggle to score yourself. Um, you know, the upside of the game is, is we just missed opportunities. Um, and if you correct, correct those mistakes and make plays, we'll be in a real good shape to win some football games. So I uh, had three interceptions, but threw four. Um, so we, we didn't win the turnover battle, and we didn't execute on, uh, and again, the missed opportunities to, to take over the football game. Uh, this upcoming week, we have MIT at home. Uh, I believe it's the first time they'll ever come out and meet us there. We played there last year, very close football game. Uh, and we learned the hard way again last year that if you don't make plays and, and play discipline, then a team like MIT, who, who is disciplined and works very hard and <coughs> does their job on every single play well, that, that they'll come around and beat you nine times out of ten. So uh, we need to do, be better at playing mistake-free football constantly. Um, you know, and we're talented enough to, to play with some really good teams, but that means nothing if we're not going in the right direction and each man doing their own job the way it should be. Um, so we, we did some good things this week, got some young kids in their first collegiate game ever, and uh, hopefully next week we can put all the pieces together against a, a good MIT team at home. Thank you.